Hey, I left my tripod at home, like in Auckland. My tripod is currently my Bible, actually. I could probably do a better job of this. Oh, yeah, that's why we have a chunky Bible, so it literally can stand up like that. Here we go, thank you, Jesus. Welcome to the vlog. Today is Good Friday, but uh, it's actually 20 to 10, like, at night and I did mean to start this this morning but the day kind of just got away on me and then it, it didn't happen I was thinking in the shower this morning because I was contemplating whether or not to vlog this weekend and then and I was like I actually haven't vlogged in a really long time like other than my birthday I haven't vlogged since like I like the weekend after I got back from Australia which was like nearly two months ago not that long ago like a month and a half ago I'm at the beach I'm at the batch for Easter which I am loving today was just a nice day off I went for a run this morning went for a walk read my book for like the whole afternoon went and got ice cream with my brother and his girlfriend you guys are gonna come along with me for the rest of the weekend I have really nothing planned um, I'm catching up with Morgan tomorrow because she's down here with her Fano. get into my jammies and go to bed Oh, kia ora. I don't even know what to say about how the vlog ended so abruptly last night. Uh, <laughs> basically, I was just trying to have a DMC with you guys, and then my brother rang. They were on their way home, like back to Auckland, and uh, they got a flat tire. They were fine in the end. They had a space saver. It was all well and good. But yeah, that was that was that was what happened after I shut off the vlog last night. But anyway, today is a new day, and it is also quarter past two in the afternoon back on my vlogging game she reckons what have i been doing all morning you ask well i have been reading that is it i've just been reading let me go get the book so i can show you here we have it it's called regretting you it's by colleen hoover i'm not going to even try and explain it because i know that i will ruin it for you five stars from me the next book on the agenda is daisy jones and the six i just posted on my instagram story about it the last book i read of T from TJR was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This is going to be a really unpopular opinion, but I hated it. It was not my kind of book. I did not enjoy it in the slightest, and I don't know whether it was the style in which she wrote it or the actual storyline. So we're not giving up just yet. I kind of am. My expectations are on the floor, uh, but we're going to give this a go. I've heard really mixed reviews about this one as well, but you know, trust the process. Morgan arrived down here yesterday, and I haven't seen her yet, so I think we're going to catch up shortly but i am literally just at home waiting for her to tell me she's ready she's out with her family at the moment so <laughs> once she's ready i'll go catch up with her i may as well start with the first update of the vlog it feels like yesterday since i told you guys this exact story but <laughs> here we are again i have bought a new car i've been looking for a new car my current car is great don't get me wrong i love her she's great but she just doesn't quite go far enough on a single charge she goes like 120 k's which is great it gets me quite quite far um but not quite far enough i was looking for something more with like 200 kilometers of range because that pretty much ticks all of my boxes and i was kind of loosely looking at like an mg zs ev but they're like 35k and i was like mm, yeah nah that's not really like a smart financial decision at 21 years old and then i joined just out of curiosity pure curiosity cur let me try that again. Out of pure curiosity, I joined a Facebook group, which is the New Zealand Buy Sell EV page, and someone posted up a car, which was kind kind of in my budget. I mean, we're really just stretching my resources at the moment. Within my budget, right, right amount of range, looked all right, because you guys know I've been really mad at myself for buying another black car because they're just so hard to keep clean like i wash it every week on a sunday night it's like my routine by monday morning when i drive home from the gym it's already dirty really minor issue i know so it wasn't black and i was like great <laughs> it's fantastic and it could go the, the like the right amount of distance it was kind of within my budget and i was like okay we're literally 20 years old money's made to be spent right i bought it <laughs> it was in Tauranga, so we went down there on wednesday night and had a look and picked it up so this is her she is a 2018 40 kilowatt Nissan Leaf. Wow, this car's actually really good for vlogging. Look at that. So now I have a car which can go 200 kilometers on a single charge, which is absolutely phenomenal. I'm still like trying to figure out, like it's only a year newer than my current car and the battery is 30% bigger. The car is so much smarter than my previous car. Considering it's only a year newer, the features are just like, incomparable i'm stoked i will now not be spending any money for the rest of the year so that i can justify this purchase i'm going to record this but i don't know if i'm going to put this in the video but while i'm waiting for morgan i may as well just keep the life updates coming i, just, I so do not know if i'm going to put this in the video 
because I just don't know if I'm ready to talk about it yet. But oh, I don't even know. I, I, I don't even know how to say this out loud because I haven't had to say it out loud. I actually don't know if I can. Okay, I can do it. I, oh, I don't even. Oh. Like, I don't even know how to say this because you guys, like, no, no one, no one saw this coming. Not even me. But. <laughs> Why can't I speak? <sighs> okay. Um, I guess to start this off, I have been getting a few messages and a few comments, actually, on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram from you guys. Um, and you're very observant, I must say. Basically just asking, like, where's Owen and I guess it is time for me to let you guys know that we are no longer together and that feels really weird to say we broke up as I'm filming this like four weeks ago like I, I've been super private with our relationship on social media I always have been right from the get-go and that's not that's not about to change right now so like I'm not going to go into the details of it. All you guys need to know is like it, it wasn't messy. We're still friends and sometimes people grow apart and that's okay. So that's my, I guess, probably my biggest life update. You're like, who, who cares about your car? Just so you guys know, there's no bad blood between us. Like we're still friends. Anyway, let's go and see Morgan. <laughs> I'm such a loser. <laughs> oh my god, hi! Hey guys, Morgan's here. This is like a little drive with me. I didn't cute. know you were vlogging this weekend. This is very well, cute. Well, not really, but I like had some life updates this year. Morgan is here, and we're just going for a drive to the store to buy her parents some peanuts and some beer sticks. I don't even know what beer sticks look like. I'm a vegetarian. It's like a little like it's like a salami sausage. stick. Yeah, but yeah. are they bigger? Like you know the salami they're sticks. Like, they're slow and they come in a pack of six. Are they blue? No. Like not the actual meat, but oh. like the outside. <laughs> so anyway, Morgan's here, and we've just been discussing our quarter life crises. Crises. We have. For so the mine includes. Dying my hair red and buying a new car. So we're mine's, kind of on the same level, I guess. Buying a new car and should we go find some peanuts and go find some peanuts and beer sticks and I might screw around and get myself an ice cream because I haven't had an ice cream while I've been at the beach and that's kind of illegal. Mm. So I think I need to do that. Anyway, right, let's go. Cool. Beer sticks and the peanuts and Such Jane a good on the Good morning, guys. Happy Easter Sunday. I'm here with my Fijon muffin for breakfast. Dad's here too. I had my alarm set for 6.30 this morning to go for a run and I couldn't be bothered but the sunrise was beautiful so got dad out of bed and we went down to watch but we kind of missed the main event but it was still pretty and now we've come back and got mum up and we're going to go for a walk but I'm going to have some breakfast first and you guys are going to come along with me today there's a market on I don't know what else we're going to get up to alright I'm going to brew some tea in this teapot a bit of a story when I went to Melbourne I bought mum a teapot from T2 like the tea shop and gonna be honest it was half price and I kind of realized why when I got home because the little net in it that you put the loose tea leaves in wasn't like deep enough to actually touch the water so you have to fill it like right up to the top which is probably why it was on sale we have this little baby teapot down here and the other day when I made tea I put way too many tea leaves in and it was really really strong so we're gonna try again today we're using this tea from Tea Total. I haven't tried this one before and then we just leave it like that and then we just drink it throughout the day and if you get cold it doesn't matter it's 20 past 10 and we just got back from our walk down at the beach and i just realized i poured myself a cup of tea like when i was talking to you guys at like eight o'clock this morning and it's gonna be so cold now it still tastes good though on our walk we saw a lot of dogs because dogs have to be on the beach like off the beach by nine o'clock and we got down to the beach like quarter two nine so everyone was like hustling to around their dogs up to go off the beach. But we went to a market, which I think is the same one they have down in Papamore, but they just bought it up here, which is great. And we got a few things, so date pata, I don't know what that is, but it tastes really good and you use it as like a spread on toast or like on a cheese board, a date flavor and a garlic flavor and a chili flavor, this one's for sage. And then we got some crackers. We also got an ice cream and a hot chocolate, but we, I already ate those. Lunch is, is oven on. Oh, we have this definitely on, I can feel that. And dad is just, oh, it's working. My brother's friend Liam is racing in Japan. So dad is his number one fan. Uh, yeah, it's so we are, we're all, all watching. I rebrewed, like I used the same leaves and topped up the water and made some more tea. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is so pale. 
Like it's orange instead of red, but it's still Actually no, it doesn't taste good. Anyway, the weather. I was sitting outside on the bean bag, which is actually still outside. I should probably bring it inside because it looks like it is gonna rain. I was just sitting out here with my legs in the sun and it was really nice and peaceful reading my book, but the weather is really overcast now and I think it's meant to rain. I think I told you guys yesterday but I'm reading Daisy Jones and the Six. I'm like a hundred pages in and I'm still like not really sure how I feel about it. Like it's interesting enough but I'm just not super invested if you know what I mean. Turn the light on. Move the light. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hello guys. Uh, it is 7.56pm and I'm on my way to... I am on my way to go and see Morgan. Her house is literally like, it wouldn't even take me like five minutes to walk there. But I am going to her house for a spa. Um, so I've got my togs on. Yeah, I didn't really want to walk home in the cold by myself. Let's go and see Morgan. Also, this is so not sponsored, but these togs are from Bondi. And don't get me wrong, they were expensive. I got them 60% off on Black Friday. They are so comfortable and they fit so nice anyway. Little plug, but I need to go see Morgan. Rise and shine. Good morning guys. It's 6.30 and we are dad, dad and I have come down to the beach to watch the sunrise. And when I woke up like 15 minutes ago, it looked stunning out the window. But we don't live like near the beach. We had to drive here. Okay, the camera might be doing it a bit more justice. But it looks, it's literally, it, it is not that exciting. There's heaps of sea fog. There's no colour in the sky. <laughs> but the sun doesn't actually come up. Well, it should be coming up kind of now, but because there's sea fog, you can't see it. Like down this way, it's all like sea fog. Okay, I'm going to speed this clip up for you guys. But in the background, like right, if you look straight down the road, that like a bit of land you see in the distance is Clark Island, which is the main island off the coast of Whangamata. Now, as we drive along the road, this is like an optical illusion. It's called the Ponzo effect. So the closer you get, the smaller the object gets. It is absolutely mind-blowing. So I've just put this in here for you to enjoy and have your mind blown pretty much. So enjoy. Hey guys, I am on my way <laughs> back to Auckland and um, I left early, I left at like 9.30 because I knew it's Easter Monday, there's gonna be traffic, right? And I had a really smooth run through Waihee and I was like, great, this is fantastic. Like there's like traffic but it's flowing, right? I am like outside Pairoa, like I've just come through the gorge and like if you know the area, this is, I knew I was gonna hit traffic somewhere but this is not where I thought it was gonna happen. So I'm, yeah, I'm probably like a few, like maybe like a kilometre and a half, two kilometres out of Pairoa and I'm guessing this is the traffic from that little roundabout by McDonald's. And I am flabbergasted. Mum and Dad are staying at the beach for a few more days but I have to come back for work, so. It's just me riding solo in my new car, hoping that it makes it there. I've only used 19% battery so far, and I've done like a third of the trip, so we're tracking well. Those Capaldi, you can just shift for a second. I made it home. It is two minutes past 12, so I need to go have some lunch. My tummy is rumbling, and I really am kicking myself for not packing snacks but the drive back was great I got home with 25% battery left which is insane in my old car that's how much I'd have left driving back from Hamilton let alone Whangamata that's just made my day so anyway I need to go inside and unpack and you guys are gonna come along with me for the rest of the day so let's go at the end of last year but our graduation ceremony isn't until like next week and so I ordered a dress to wear like under my gown which I also have here and my hood on my gown is gold I don't have that yet because I'm hiring it and I bought this dress oh this is already looking like a different colour to what I thought it was going to be I bought this dress from Petal and Pup really just hoping that it works because it took quite a while to get here so if it doesn't work I I'm left with the only option to make it work I'm going to try it on and we're gonna see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what we're working with. I don't actually know how I feel about it, which sucks because I don't even have time to find something else. Like, it's nice, don't get me wrong, but I just don't know how well 
Like it's obviously open back, but like you won't be able to see that because I'll have the gown on. But I'm gonna wear it with these shoes. These are not sponsored at all, just like the best heels ever. I bought them for Rachel's 21st last year. They're the Yasmin heels from Bellini and they're so freaking comfortable. But it's not about the dress, it's about the gown and the graduation, so it doesn't really matter. And like it doesn't look terrible. You can hear my washing's like about to finish. Like you know when the spin cycle gets a bit carried away. I'm heading out to go and visit my nana. I just rang my brother to see if he wants to come. But he didn't answer and I have a feeling he... I think Sage said they were going to Hamilton today. I'll go past his house anyway. And then I need to go pick up some food from his house as well. So hopefully one of his flatmates will be there. And then I need to go to the supermarket. So we're just really feeling quite domesticated today to be honest. I just have some stuff that Sage left behind at our batch to drop off there too. We have made it home. I actually can't remember the last thing that I vlogged. I was gonna give you guys a grocery haul, but I was way too efficient and I already put it all away. But my one splurge, I bought some Vogels. Vogels, like growing up, it was like, no, Emma, we're not having Vogels because it's too expensive. I was like, it's only 80 cents more from what I was gonna buy. And I was like, man, let's get the Vogels. So I got the Vogels. I'm so tired. It feels so much later than it is for some reason. It's 25 past four. So I need to go hang out my washing because that finished while I was out. Washing is hung out and I just got changed into some loungewear for comfort. I am gonna do a little bit of baking for some little snacky snacks for me to have during the week. I'm gonna make chocolate bark and I'm also gonna have a crack at some roasted chickpeas. I can never for the life of me get them right. Let me go get my tripod and we'll be away laughing. Right, so I found the recipe that I didn't go get my tripod though. I found the recipe for the chickpeas off Google. So this is either gonna be a really good or a really bad idea. Hoping it's the latter. I need to basically drain them, cover them with spices, and chuck them in the oven. So, I can do that. You guys will be stoked to know I have a tripod. So let me just pop that on there for you guys. Make some roasted chickpeas, and it's gonna be great. Let's go. So I've just paused it, but I'm watching Sarah's day do a full body workout while I am melting chocolate. And I've chopped up some pistachios, some dry cranberries, and some pretzels which I'm gonna put in it. I feel like I'm missing something but I can't find the recipe that I used to use to make this back when I lived in Hamilton. I I have no idea where I got the recipe from but it used to be really good so this is all I can remember. Also what the heck this block of chocolate cost me $5.60. That is daylight robbery. Like I have to work for like a solid like like 20 minutes to pay for this chocolate tomorrow. Inflation is broken. Here we have the finished product to go Oh, you guys cannot see a thing. This is the finished product. It's not that big, like there's my hand in relation to it. Normally I would do it on a bigger dish, but I I don't know what I was thinking. It's just chocolate and pretzels and pistachios and cranberries and a little bit of salt on top too. I'm gonna pop that in the fridge to set and then either tonight or tomorrow, probably tomorrow, I'll break it up um, and pop it in a container and then I can just snack on it throughout the week. I should probably get started on some dinner actually. I'm doing a Caesar salad for dinner. We've got the egg, the chicken, the bacon, got the salad mix in a supermarket. My chickpeas are done and dusted uh, and I turned the oven off when they were finished like 10-15 minutes ago and I was clearing space to put them on the bench and then I just got sidetracked and I only just pulled them out of the thing and uh, they're nice and crispy if nothing else. I'm gonna go eat some dinner. Oh my camera battery's flashing. I'm gonna eat some dinner and watch some TV. It is quarter past seven. I'm in my PJs. I'm absolutely knackered. I've done so much driving today. But I have got the hard drive. I've got the dongle. I've got the laptop. I'm gonna edit this video. I was planning on posting it tonight, but you guys are gonna see this like a couple days late, but that's fine. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. My camera is flashing. It really needs me to wrap this up, so I'm just gonna do it real quick. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had an amazing Easter. Stay safe, stay well, and make someone smile. And I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>